probably for a lot of people who are struggling to see themselves in a small group, you're gonna have to take like one extra step of uncomfortable measure <laughs> and whether that's just checking one out or even considering it or it might be I'm showing up to a group and it's gonna be uncomfortable comfortable for me to, to share something or to pray for someone. I would just encourage whoever's looking to sign up for or get involved in a group to just take one extra step of being uncomfortable. And I would say just know that you're not going to be put on the spot. You're not going to be asked to pray out loud if you're not comfortable. You're not going to have to find, you know, Numbers 27, <laughs> verse 32. You, you won't be put on the spot. It's a safe place where we are all just hanging out together and learning more about Jesus. It's, it's not as scary or demanding as you might think. It, everyone that I've been part of at Foothills has been very laid back. Uh, you don't have to be a biblical scholar. Um, it's okay if you are, but uh, it's just average people getting together and spending time together. We just want to be real. Um, people see us on Sunday and we, we're dressed nicer than normal maybe, but in the life group you can maybe hang that tie up and talk about the struggles person to person and tell them, look, you struggle with this, I struggle with it too. I think we try to keep our life groups really low key and comfortable and um, it doesn't matter if you, you know, don't even have a relationship with Christ or you have for a long, long time or you haven't for long, whatever it is, it's not a, you know, it's not a theological class that you're committing to. It's just spending time with people and um, getting to know them better. And like Andy said, it's not a forever commitment. So. Um, you can try it and you know, just see what happens. So I can show you. Yeah, I can show you.